Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the special without Brett Davis. I am uh, your interim host. My name is Leon Poo. Thanks everybody for being here tonight. Yeah, give, your, give yourselves a hand. <laughs> you know, uh, we're having a real fun time tonight. Uh, uh, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I have never quite hosted a TV show, but I've watched a heck of a lot of it. Uh, mostly the Fishing Channel and of course, uh, uh, sitcoms and syndication. Uh, especially those networks that just show the old ones on, uh, on the digital uh, antenna. I'm getting too much into it. Uh, uh, we got a real fun show for you tonight. We've got Caitlin Brodnick is here. We got Ruby Karp is here. We've also got a very special surprise guest. Uh, unfortunately, grooms could not make it, but uh, we're happy to say that we got a little treat for you instead of them. Uh, so I am so uh, uh, excited to be here because we are, today we're going to be talking about some hard things. You know, I've dealt with some hardship in my own life. Um, I suffer from something called an anal prolapse. Thank you, thank you. Uh, an anal prolapse is uh, when part of your large intestine hangs outside your rear end. Uh, or, you know, in layman's terms, uh, it makes it look like your butt's always making a funny face like this. <laughs> See, it's fine to laugh about it. It's fine to laugh about it. Uh, you know, it, it is tough, uh, but like the Beatles uh, said, uh, I just let it be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have thought, well, fine. fair enough. Now it just seems like pity. Uh, 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 I also have a career. I am a driving instructor. Thank you very much. Okay, you're on the ball with that one. <laughs> I am a driving instructor. Uh, it is my job, much like the superheroes you see in your big budget movies, uh, I keep the streets safe. Uh, and uh, if you're worried about how uh, my situation in the rear end uh, affects my job, don't worry. I actually have a donut to aid my posterior as I instruct my students. Yep, that's where you applaud, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, being a driving instructor is uh, really great. I've got this little, uh, he's a smart kid, but he's a smart Alec too. His name's Jeremiah. And, uh, you know, uh, he is on his phone as he's sitting in the passenger seat. He is doing anything but paying attention to me. And I try to make it fun. I sing little songs while we're driving. Uh, but he is not paying attention to me. And uh, he got real upset. Uh, like I said, a smart kid, but a smart Alec. Uh, he actually went to go take his driver's test and he actually failed the driving test because I failed him. He wasn't doing his job and he was pretty upset because he wanted to go to some like a uh, fun weekend with his friends, you know, up, uh, up uh, to a beach or somewhat. And, uh, 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 you know, he, he wasn't able to get the, his dad bought him some new sports car and stuff. And uh, I had to teach him business, you know, I said, well, you can't do that. And Little Jeremiah has made, uh, made his life all about tormenting me. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish he spent half as much time paying attention to the rules of the road that he did uh, 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 elaborate revenge uh, scenarios. So he has been taunting me. He actually called me recently uh, as a plastic surgeon that wanted me to help me with um, my anal prolapse, uh, which has, you know, it's been, a, it's been a thing throughout my life, you know. I've got the name Leon Poo, and it actually looks like I've got a piece of poo permanently hanging out some of my rear end. Real trouble in the locker room. And uh, don't applaud that. Don't apl <laughs> uh, so I went in there, and I, I see this, this guy who does not look like a doctor, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and he just really butchered my rear end. Uh, uh, you know, it kind of looks like Chucky from one of the later films now. <laughs> So, uh, you know, 
uh, there's hardship in life, but sometimes you got to think about what makes you smile. What makes me smile? I wrote a little song. It's called Do the Poo. And we're going to be doing the poo later tonight, so if that's an incentive to stay tuned, I don't know what is. Uh, and I want you to call in. Uh, tell me about what makes you smile. That's right. Call on 212-757-1393. You can talk to me, Leon Poo. And uh, just tell me uh, what cheers you up. And uh, you could also interact with the show online. Do hashtag the special without. And uh, you know what makes me smile? It's our joke of the week from our own Mr. Jokes, Steve Whalen. Give him a hand. Special without Brett Davis. How you folks doing tonight? Give it up for yourselves, huh? Come on, please. I insist. Oh my goodness, what a, a coincidence, an amazing coincidence. You mentioned that you're a driving instructor. You know, I recently uh, was performing at a show and the audience told me I was standing a little too close to the microphone. I backed up a little bit. They said, go a little further. Uh, I backed up a little bit. I had to go a little further. I said, how far do you want me to go? They said, have you got a car? <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And then, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Joe. Oh, it's my biggest fan, everybody, huh? Can, can, I just want to ride home. I, I don't want to go to any more open mics. Well, you know. <laughs> Well, you know, we have to do swing by the creek in the cave. I am roast battling the Legion of Skanks individually. <laughs> Can you promise to be funny? I'll do my, uh, all right. See you later, everybody. <laughs> well, that was delightful. I don't know what everybody was complaining about. <laughs> I love that. That was glorious. Uh, uh, we got a, a, a good friend. I want you to introduce yourself. You can put the magazine down. Oh, it's really interesting. We're thinking about adding a skylight to the condo, so. This is Doug. Yeah. Doug, hey, uh, you're on, on a live television show. We are live uh, broadcasting to millions. Cool. <laughs> that sounds great, Leon. That's true. Well, That's true. How, how, how much longer are we here? You know I have a long day tomorrow. You know we're open late on Thursdays. So Doug, Doug is my friend. Uh, he actually uh, works at the DMV. Yeah. Uh, I don't work no. at the DMV. I just hang long out there. Long hours at the DMV, and I'm, I need to be there at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And we're there until seven, but right. apparently you don't mind. I know this. Well, you know, I, I, I told you I come almost nights. every day, and I keep Doug company. I just lean on the lean on the uh, front desk. If somebody yeah. comes by, I, I mean, step it's aside. It's really nice they... that we go out every Wednesday to Ruby Tuesday. Mm -hmm. and that is nice. We are friends. But I got this great opportunity to kind of spread my message of hope and uh, love. You told me I just have to sit here, so that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's not quite cooperative. Uh, uh, we, we are having a, a real fun time uh, here tonight, and uh, we got sure some. Are. You know, all you really need is a reciprocating saw, and you can get right through. And look at the, look at this. Well, we're not talking about home improvement tonight. We're actually talking about kind of my my, my sort of thing. You know, driving, instructing, keeping a open mind, anal prolapse, etc. All oh, your your butt thing. It's not a butt. You know, well, I think we, just, kind of we could just move, move along. Uh, we, we got a real special, uh, special guest. Uh, 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 the author of this new book, it's called Dangerous. Um, well, you could, you could read it. Uh, uh, dangerous, uh, breaking up with my time bomb. And then there's another Let's one say of those. Dangerous boobies. Yep. Well, uh, try Where to be polite. Where did you take me, Leon? I did. Just... Hold your thoughts. Uh, please welcome Caitlin Brodnick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. I'll take this. Oh, thank you. You know, I only introduced you, but it seems like that I, sh I should have introduced the duo. I do. I am walking for two. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It happened. Yeah. Well, uh, hi. hello, baby. Congratulations. Yeah, hi. He's. It's a boy. Okay. He's very excited because he loves hanging out with the dudes. Well, well lovely. Yeah. Well, baby, welcome to the show. My name oh. is Leon Poo, P E G H. Uh, he's laughing inside. Yeah. yeah well, don't, yeah. Te don't teach him that early. I mean, uh, that's true. People I'm have sorry. to be taught to laugh at the name Poo. That's true. Uh, so, uh, you've got this new book. Could you I do. say the title of it? It's called Dangerous Boobies mm -hmm. Breaking Up with My Time Bomb Breasts. Now, tell us a little bit about what this book is about. So the book is about, I had a preventative double mastectomy, like Angelina Jolie had, and she made it public in 2013. And at 28, I had the same thing done. 
and it was wonderful. It was like a really good decision, but there wasn't anybody talking about it who was my age, who had like a comedic bent on it, who was sort of giving you a girl's guide to a really scary thing, and I was like, oh, I needed this, so I wrote it. Now, <laughs> for, for those that aren't doctors, uh, yeah. what is a preventative mastectomy? It's not when you, when you have cancer. Right, it's, it's without cancer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's controversial, but I have a gene mutation. That means I have a higher risk of getting breast cancer than the average person. I have like, in my lifetime, they told me I had an 87% chance of getting breast cancer. And with this mastectomy, they told me my chance is down to like less than 1%. So it's great. All I'm right. happy. <laughs> That's great. Now, uh, it's, yeah. it seems like a no-brainer, but it comes with its shared difficulties. It was difficulties. very hard, yeah. yeah, because when you're given a diagnosis like that, it's a crazy thing to do to your brain. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have a sickness, but you have just a, a very high chance of getting it. So I was walking on eggshells for a long time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know what that feels like because I actually... At walk like I walk on eggshells. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sensitive souls. That's so, what he's got. Yeah. yeah. Sensitive. Oh, on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, and uh, now this is something that not a lot of young women go through. No, it's not very popular, but it comes to be that like one in 40 Ashkenazi Jewish people have the mutation. Oh, Ashka, what? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's a kind like, of... I am from Arlington, Texas, yeah. we don't... Uh, what Some is that? Jewish people have it. Some Jewish people. So in the community, they talk more about it than like in, a, than your community, probably. Okay, well, yeah. in my community, we talk a, a lot about the Texas Rangers. Okay. <laughs> Although I live in New Jersey now, so uh, I find it harder. Is it harder. rough? Is it hard I'm to talk about? I'm not talking about, about my stuff right now. Okay, um, okay. Uh, now, you, <laughs> you were also followed by a web series that uh, yes. helped document this trip through life. It did. It was called, uh, again, it was, just say the name I'll of it. I'll say it. It's called Screw You Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leon, why wouldn't you say that? Well, I... Look, I'm not pro-cancer in any way. No. However, I am pro-clean uh, uh, language. Right. <laughs> so A lot of my language is not clean. Well, like, I, I, I did some skimming of the book, and yeah. uh, I even tried to watch... I, I watched most of the episodes. There are certain parts that I had to turn away. Yeah, there's some boobies in it. There are some boobies in it. And then I talk a lot about sex in the book, too. Mm -hmm. My grandma said it was quite raw. So, you know, what can you do? Well, <laughs> you gotta write it down. <laughs> I, I hope you warned your grandmother about I it. I did, and I asked my grandfather not to read it, and he told me he was going to because he's been around. <laughs> so I tried to tell him, but he told me he he's knew. He's been around what? I don't know. He said he's not. Um, he's not naive. He has four kids of his own, and I said we know, Grandpa, but. <laughs> He also loves The Bachelorette and The Bachelor, so I was like, okay, it's like a gateway drug. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. So this is this is tough. You're you're changing your body. You're electing to change your body yes. for health reasons. Uh, how do you keep a smile on your face? <laughs> well, I mean, it seems like you don't have a problem with that, generally speaking. Doesn't this person seem so happy? Uh, no, but that's you... a that's a tougher thing. How do you yes. how do you? keep happy during you have to leave your house <laughs> it's very okay. because I yes leave your house because I could isolate all day long but having creating a documentary and writing this story was a way that I could not be so self-obsessed with everything happening I could think of the person that would need this the girl that's scared or the family member that doesn't know how to talk about this to their niece or daughter so I just kept saying like it's not about me it's about the other person and that helps me keep going because otherwise I mean why why would you do anything but watch the cooking channel and nap and yeah. fishing channel fishing or, well channel. I guess you're not speaking about me specifically no but, but I'm yeah. yeah but yeah just like you oh well, well that, that that's that's nice uh, yeah. uh, so so you, you keep a smile I mean I leave the house I hang out at the DMV during mm -hmm. a lot of my free sure. time yes he yeah, does. He does. With Doug Dillinger Sorry, over here lucky it's okay all right, okay, no. well, don't, no. you know. I mean, to get a lot, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of hard work. To be his friend? No, just to work at the DMV. Oh, the DMV, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, understaffed, yeah. you know, the state just cuts our budget left and right. It's right. And, I mean, Leon comes in, you know, I mean, he's got his students, and he talks to us, and it's, uh, 
Is you know, he sometimes brightens up the day and other times darkens the day, you know, <laughs> depending on how he's doing, you know. How he's feeling, too, because yeah. he's got a lot happening over there a in that lot body. Of, he has a lot of, a lot of body issues. Yeah. A lot of body issues. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you, you seem to... Uh, what, what about body issues? How, how can you keep a brave face when maybe you're, you're dealing with that? Do you talk about that in the book? I do, because I, before, and you're going to be uncomfortable, but before... I had my mastectomy, mm -hmm. I had really big breasts. Nope. I'm sorry, okay. boys, we're talking about it's fine. it. It's Waiting fine. to see how it's relevant. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the reason is I felt uncomfortable with those breasts because they were so big, I felt that they took up a lot of my body because mm -hmm. I'm only five foot one and a half and they were like a 32 G or F humongous. Like I had to get specialty bras made and they were just so over sexualizing me and I, you know, they're, they're great during sex. We all have sex, um, some of us. And so they're like great at a, they're great in a part of my life, but it wasn't working for my whole life. So happily with this mastectomy, I got to decide my own breast size. Mm -hmm. And that was really fun. And that gave me a lot more power. Well, you know, anything yeah. that empowers you, I'm all for it. Even if I don't like to talk about it. I know, it. it's uh, tough. It, I was reading something about, uh, you got also got like a tattoo of some sort. Well, I can't choose a nipple to save my life. I can't, I can't pick a nipple. And for me, yeah. Well, I, like, wait, I'm, so, I'm sorry? So I don't, these, I don't have nipples currently. I, yeah. Okay. So when they do the surgery, right now I have a scar that goes from here to here. Uh -huh. And a scar that goes from here to here. And they could put a nipple on, but I cannot pick a nipple because committing to a nipple, mm -hmm. I mean, you, do you want tiny itty bitty titty nipples? That, 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 or do you want I don't grandma need to know nipples? About this. I don't I mean, need to know about this. But like, do you want nipples like, that have been breastfeeding I, I thought, a lot I thought of kids? maybe you got like a cool, you were gonna get a, like no, a cool tattoo, but. No, and then you can use some of your own skin to create a nipple, or do you want a tattoo? One woman got a shamrock areola, like she's very, very proud Irish. Do so. people do people donate their nipples? No. No, no so no, it's no, not. No, no. Okay. I don't know. Just, you can take it from no. other body parts though. Okay. Um, so and that's, build a nipple. You can build a nipple, wow. or you can just tattoo a 3D nipple. It's just so many options. Wee, wee, wee. Uh oh, <laughs> okay. uh, it's okay. time to change the subject. It is. It is. <laughs> it's getting too much. It's interesting. It's you are a, a comedian as well. I am. Uh, and, and you do a lot of public speaking and stuff. Yeah. Tell, tell me about about that. Okay, well, you, what, I what kind of like what kind it. of public speaking do you do? Is it comedic public speaking? What kind of com comedy anything? Okay, okay, nipples. we'll change the topic. Yep. Yeah. So I do. I'm a, on a sketch team at UCB. So now I do what that. What does UCB stand oh, for? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Upright Citizens Brigade. It's a comedy theater. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I really like the people there. And then I do speaking tours around. The country have also been around the world to talk about how women can take care of themselves and starting a very casual conversation about talking about something very scary and clinical because usually when you talk about cancer it's very sad or it's someone who has it or it's a doctor in a very sterile environment so we talk about it we talk about titties we say a lot of cuss words and it gets everybody to giggle and then we talk about something that's really uncomfortable, but we can ask about like what sex life, what is your sex like, life like after surgery? You know, what, how do your boobs feel? How do you feel? And all that good stuff. Now I'm a person that prefers sterility. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, perhaps because course. I've dealt with it. Um, okay. But also because uh, I don't like getting, getting blue, but I suppose some people do. I do. I yeah. get, we get blue a lot. And you'd be surprised how many like regular professional people love a good tit joke. <laughs> they really like it. <laughs> well, count, count me. Uh, count um, you out. Yeah, count okay. me out of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, it must be hard to be around the DMV though, because I feel like people, oh, people must gets, say dirty jokes at the it DMV. Gets, it gets pretty gross. It gets pretty rough, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Part, yeah. Of, part of, you know, like I said, like, my job is to clean up the streets, and part of it is just being the morality police around right. my place. That lingo. You know, I'm I'm constantly interrupting private conversations, kind of <laughs> hovering over and saying, "Excuse me, could you keep it down? Yeah, can we not talk not? about that sort of thing here?" <laughs> I know. So, kids present sometimes. I yeah, know. Leon kind of sucks. Wow. Yeah, but we've you know he's just razzing me. We kind of feel sorry for him. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, we actually have some calls to take. Uh, first oh, up, we got Steve in the Bronx. You're on the special with Leon Pooh, P U G H. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Steve. Hello. Am I on? Yeah, you're absolutely on. I'm Leon Pooh. Oh, great. Uh, 
excuse me, I uh, had a similar problem to this this young lady here having. Uh, she was talking about uh, sex being difficult. I, I've got my my black cock stuck in the shampoo bottle. <laughs> oh no! It, what got well, in the shampoo bottle? His um. Shampoo bottle. His penis. <laughs> Let, let's hang up. His penis got stuck. I don't that think, wasn't what we were talking I about. I would say that's insanely dissimilar. That's not a medical, that's not, <laughs> no. that's not a medical issue. But maybe he also had cancer. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, we didn't let him finish, you know? Well, he could have had, like, a lot of cancer. I'd like to issue a very personal apology. For oh, I don't that. care. I don't know Steve in the Bronx. In fact, I've never been to the Bronx. Uh, really? That's not true. We've been to the Bronx. <laughs> well, was he not aware of it? Were you traveling somewhere else? No, we, he would, Leon wanted to go to the Bronx. Well, they have know. the zoo there, but I don't consider we that the Bronx. The zoo. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. But the, I like the zoo. It's kind of like I'm on the Serengeti. Uh, we got okay. Tanner in New Jersey. You're on the special. I'm Leon Poop, UGH. Hey, what's up? I'm in the bathroom. I'm talking to Leon. I'm sorry? Hey, I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just in the bathroom. I'm talking to Leon. Talking to okay. Leon. Okay, he's dropping. I see it. I see what you did there. Uh, even as I, even as I, explain that PGH is how you spell my name. Uh, there's really no connect. I guess it sounds like it, but uh, it does. a lot of words sound alike. Oh, yeah, um, no, it's, uh, but, Tanner, was that all you wanted to share with us? No, no, I got a question. Fine. Okay. So, uh, Leon, since you're from New Jersey, what do you think about uh, this new guy, Phil Murphy, raising the minimum wage to fifteen dollars? How do you think that will affect small businesses? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I'd say Good raising question. the minimum wage, I support it. You know, there are a lot of people that have to deal with stuff. However, uh, he also has another campaign issue. He's really into that. Um, Look. Smoking? He's into smoking, not smoking cigarettes, which I don't, don't support either, but he's into smoking the jazz. The marijuana. Jazz marijuana, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Does he do it? Does he talk about doing it? I get, you know, I. I, 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 I want to know more personal information about this guy. About, about, the, about the, him. Uh, what, well? He's got a weird face. A okay. Weird well, th that's, face. Not, that's not He nice. does. And you know what? I'm saying everybody's talking about the minimum wage and about pot. I want to know what he's going to do for the state employees. I want to know what he's going to do for our pensions. I want to know what he's going to do for our hours. We are overworked, and I'm sick of it. All right. Yeah. Clearly touched a nerve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for more on New Jersey politics, okay. uh, consult yeah. NJN. That's the uh, New Jersey uh, 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 public discussion channel. Now, you're actually from Baltimore. I'd hang up on Tanner. Uh, 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 so in Baltimore, uh, did you drive around? You know, yeah. I, so my husband and father are both from there. I was like a couple, like 40 minutes away. Okay. So Baltimore. I good, you're like, away from the city. Away from the city. Good for um, a child. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I feel like every city has its own characteristic for driving. Like I grew up in and out of D.C., and so that is like a very immediate, crazy kind of driving. Like it's not like, like New York, like someone, you just hit people. I feel like people are always constantly hitting cabs. But yes. in, in, in D.C., it was always like really sharp turns constantly because there were a lot of circles in the city. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I grew up, like I said, in Arlington where you know, the open road is a real peaceful place it in is. New Jersey. It's, it's all these people yell and they sound like Tony Soprano. It's it's like garbage to my ears. Yeah, you can't say that out loud though, in New Jersey. If I, you tell it, someone that, that would offend them. I do. I say it all the time. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Leon's very offensive for such a milk toast individual. I don't <laughs> think that's offensive. I think it's. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. I like I said, I do my job to. You think control. it's. You was, think it's okay to make fun of Italian Americans? Well, if they, oh. if they're acting extremely Italian, then yes. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. So okay. oh, great. Thanks, I was the Leon. hall monitor growing up, and I feel like I've I've never uh, quite you were abandoned that. Assistant hall monitor. So you knew know him from you, no, early No, no, he's told this, these stories oh. over and My home over monitor stories are actually over. really great. How did you guys great. meet? I work at the DMV. Yeah. He's a driver's and that's instructor. It. Like, yeah. not, but yeah. you, it he does comes seem... in with the kids to get their licenses, and you know he's and he's stuck behind the counter, and I just I just hang out there. Yeah. Yep. I stuck can he's tell. got he's got nowhere to go. He's so bored. You know so they don't pay in. us overtime, yeah. right? You know that they don't pay us overtime. I that, didn't know that. Chris, can I curse on this? No. Chris Absolutely not. not. Christy. What, what could I just our, say? Cut our. I just say no M. You know how am I? No you know, I can barely. We can barely make it working yeah. for the state anymore. And I you get would it. think that state employees would be treated with You're some. You're a buzzkill. You're a buzzkill. I'm a buzzkill. Oh uh, yeah. Whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna read my Keep fucking reading. magazine. Keep reading. Uh, Something on back pain. 
Um, so, yes, That's I true. do. I used to love driving, and now living in the city, I haven't driven very often, so now I am a terrible driver. When I get into a car, I act like it's like a race car, and I just speed to the, I speed through turns, I speed to the stoplight, like I, I am the fastest person. <laughs> I, I, I drive very fast, and I brake suddenly. Well, have you considered continuing your education? Oh, no, 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 no. Why? I, don't, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I just don't want to, I just don't want to spend the hours. <laughs> the, okay, that's, that's uh, Leon Poo kryptonite, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to spend the hours the taking care of the other people on the street you're driving with. Nope. I don't. No, well, you know, I thought you were good, but I think you're bad now. Do not buy this book. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yep. My husband uh, drives. Uh, uh, what, what is it? Seal Press? Uh, Seal Press. Boycott anything Seal Press puts out. <laughs> Until Caitlin can get back on the road in a safe way. <laughs> How's that for a deal? Okay, like I could, but it's just naturally I want to drive as fast as possible. Well, naturally, <laughs> yes. Uh, naturally, I want to drive as slow as possible. It's hard for me to yeah, keep up to is. the speed limit. Have you gotten a ticket for driving slow before? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have, and I had to go to traffic school. How many How many tickets have you gotten for driving slow? I've gotten a a, couple. enough to have to go to driving school. Okay. Dri traffic school, yes. There was eight. We looked up his record. Eight. eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah. And you can look that up, right, because yeah. you're at the DMV. Did you have, wasn't there something else tied to that traffic school? Yes, I don't like to talk about it. Anger what management? What was it again? Uh, I, th there was a situation uh, uh, with an with, with what? An exploding house. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, that that's right. That's right. I always block that part of you, the tragedy in your life out. So, you were fleeing from a house slowly. You know, I wish I were at the house to uh, do something about it, but I was not. But my my family were. But your they, whole family. Uh, my wife and kids, but they were fine because they passed away instantly. <laughs> Uh, once again, buy Dangerous Bees. Uh, it's mm -hmm. available at a bookstore near you. Yes, thank uh, you. And from one book to another, this one, it's a title I don't mind saying. It's called Earth Hates Me, True Confessions of a Teenage Girl. And uh, our next guest is actually a teenager, so language. Okay, okay. Uh, she is a uh, writer, a feminist, uh, and a high school student. Good for her, right? Uh, yeah. Please give it up for Ruby Carp. Yeah, if you don't mind scooting on down, hello, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, my name is Leon Pugh, P-U-G-H. Cool. P-U-G-H. Cool. P -U -G -H. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is your book? That is my, yeah, it is. Congratulations. Thank it's you. A, this, this girl wrote a book. Give her a hand. You're so little. Thank you. I, yeah, thanks. I think. Uh, I meant that as a, in a nice way. I mean, you, you've done quite a bit for, for being you know, a youngling. Birth recently, yeah. yeah. Actually, you're not the littlest person on the couch. Actually, baby over there. So yeah, I know. Oh, he's upstaging you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. Don't worry, baby. You can take a nap during uh, right after, all right? Okay. <laughs> but pay attention. You might learn something. Like. I love talking to baby. <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, as an instructor, I should get this out of the way. Did you do your homework? <laughs> homework on driving? Uh, do your homework on whatever you had to do tonight. Uh, well, my homework on driving, I didn't do because I don't plan on getting my driver's license. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, no, re rewind. All right. <laughs> um, why? Uh, because I plan on living in cities my whole life, so I don't see the need to get a driver's license if I'm not going to get a car. Well, what, what mm -hmm. if the beautiful uh, Arlington, Texas uh, calls for you, and then you want to change your mind? I just feel like that's not going to happen, because I don't, I'm not really one for the Midwest or Texas in general. What's wrong with Texas? It's a, it's a beautiful place. It is a beautiful Arlington, place. Arlington, you're close to Dallas. There's stores there, fashion, right? Yeah, no, there's definitely cool things there. I'm just not, I'm more of a, I've been raised in the city and I kind of want to stay in the city. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, uh, so tell me about your book, Earth Hates Me, is that true? Uh, it feels like it sometimes. Well, well why is that? Uh, well, it's all about what it's like to be a teenager in today's society. Um, I basically wrote it as kind of a self-help book, but not in like an annoying way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of just about my experiences uh, throughout high school and the different ways I dealt with them and the different topics that go into being a teenager. There's a chapter on feminism and heartbreak and family and friendship and just all the different aspects that go into growing up.
and my experiences with them and how I dealt with them. Well, you know, most most books about being in high school are written by people that are long out of high school, so this is well, a very unique book. Yeah. yeah. You got a, a forward by Amy uh, Pol Polair? Uh, she did the blurb, yeah. Did uh, people make fun of her last name? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Alana Glazer did the intro. Oh, so, sorry. Who is Alana Glazer? Uh, she's one of the Broad City girls. She's oh, a cool. really uh, great comedian. I don't know rap. Um, <laughs> so, so what are your favorite tips? Uh, let's say I'm a high school student. Uh, like, what's, what's one tip right off the bat that you could give me that would help ease my, my time there? Because I did have a hard high school life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, um, I'd say the first thing is to uh, validate yourself and not look for validation in other people which is important okay. it, when you're like an insecure teenager. I was actually mm -hmm. spent a lot of time looking for validation in other people because people needed validation to walk through the halls of the high school because I was the hall monitor. <laughs> so people like probably loved you. Yeah, I think I, think I people respected me. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't always show because because my last name, but uh, they did respect me. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I, I see. I would see no reason not to. So so uh, don't look for validation <laughs> in other people. But that's so hard. I mean, being I in know, high school. No, it's not as easy. It's not as simple as that. And a lot of what I go into, I, I'm a comedian as well as a writer, and a lot of what I go into is finding the humor in all of the thoughts that come in like, oh, well, no one likes me or uh, I, the earth hates me or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to look for humor in every aspect of life because that's kind of the only way we can get through things without being sad all the time. That's true. I don't, I don't know if you caught when I was talking about my anal prolapse, but uh, oh. it looks like a funny face. <laughs> yeah. That's my way of laughing at no, it. Yeah, you could use that in case you ever deal with Thank the same you. situation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I hope I don't. Now, but, uh, yeah. I, I was reading, what is what is FOMO and uh, how can I be a part of it? <laughs> uh, okay, FOMO, uh, I don't feel like you'd want to be a part of it. Uh, FOMO is an uh, acronym for fear of missing out, which is uh, f fear of missing out. So it's fear of uh, missing out on a party or fear of missing out on all your friends hanging out without you. Just uh, gen the general anxiety that comes out of so many things uh, driving from social media that happen today in being a teenager because obviously everyone has FOMO in every aspect of their life, teenager or not a te teenager, but we're growing up with Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and all of these apps that are forcing us to constantly know what other people are doing, forcing us to fear the fear of missing out, fear of what everyone else is doing. Well, you know, that's that's one reason to maybe stay off the apps. Yeah. Right? How much of how much of your life is dominated by social media? You're you're a youngster. Yeah, I'm I'm a youngster. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like a lot of a lot of my life is dominated by apps, but at the same time, I a lot of what I talk about in the book is learning to turn off your apps and log out and delete the app for a week just to uh, detox and just get off of it because there's so much more to being a teenager than being on your phone all the time and everyone's always on their phones all the time and it kind of just takes out a lot of the fun of being a person. Now, uh, you, I'd say you're a very special teenager. You talked Thanks. about being a comedian. I, I heard that your uh, onstage debut was was at what age? Uh, mother. <laughs> like I was in my mom's arms, basically. Okay. Yeah. And then the, uh, the first time I performed, what I was... What kind of a stand-up routine would a baby do? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jokes, get on out here. No, no, never mind. I'm kidding. Please stay seated. Um, uh, and then, uh, so, and since then, you've won a Moth Story Slam. Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, I've grown up at UCB as well. And... Um, you have a show there? It's called We Hope You Have Fun. Yeah, it is. It's the second Monday of every month. Uh, and basically, uh, the first time I like really did a show, I was three at um, Jake Fulgonis' talk show, I want to say, uh, and Paul Shear's talk show. Uh, and then basically, I started performing at ASCAT, and I started doing a couple scripted shows. And basically, I've kind of just grown up performing at UCB. And then I got my own show when I was 11. Uh, fact checking wow. with my mother. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then I got my own show, my own stand-up show when I was 11. And uh, it's just been progressing since then. Your mother is actually quite the, the accomplished uh, writer. Uh, she's the editor of the. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say the name of the the, the, the magazine. That... Bust. Yep. <laughs> yeah, my mom co-founded Bust. Bust. Yep, I don't. Bust is yeah, great. Yeah, I think Bust is in. 
I know, I know what they want you to think. <laughs> and, uh, like, 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 like a good hall monitor, I know which hallways to avoid, uh, even if they're in my own mind. Uh, so you grew up in New York City. Yeah. What's your favorite me uh, means of transportation? Uh, I, I take a lot of Ubers. Okay. Which is like disappointing uh, in myself, but probably the subway. I feel like that's the typical form of transportation mm -hmm. in the city. City bikes are a thing now. That's like a really popular thing that people do. I'm not active enough, like physically, to do that. Well, well, you, you, you should get out of the house. Well, follow Caitlin's yeah. advice. It's hard. Last question. <laughs> Maybe we got a four little four letter word for good in Grenoble. In Grenoble, yeah. the language Grenoble. I. It just says good in Grenoble. It's a four letter word. Right. Grenoble, Grenoble, France. Yeah. Uh, Is Grenoble a language? Yeah. So yeah. what's good? What's good in? Anybody speak French? Bon. Bon. Bone, bone, bone. Was that? Is that? Are we referencing the the, the bad bone? B O N N. All right, oh. try it. Thank you. <laughs> Not to be of use. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, we had to pause to do a, a dang crossword puzzle. Now, now, I'm I'm a little disappointed. You take these Ubers around, yeah. there, but there's no desire to drive. No. What what's what's stopping you? Is it? Well, first of all, I don't trust myself to like walk around uh, like by myself. Just like I'm really clumsy and like I have a lot of anxiety and just like being a human being like makes me anxious. I don't know what would happen if I was like in like my own life was like in my hands, like in I was in charge. Like I just couldn't do it. What's well, an eight letter word that's gonna solve it? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. But at the same time, why, if I plan on living in New York City, why would I need to drive around in a car? Let's say your Uber driver has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're forced to, to get right. to, the, to the birth of your newborn baby. Uh, all alone now. I feel like if wow. my Uber driver had a heart attack, there'd be bigger problems than me needing to drive. <laughs> yeah. Has this, is, has this awesome. not passed right. your mind in your crisis scenarios? For me, yes. yeah, we are going to have to take an Uber to the hospital. And what if he has a heart yeah, attack? Yeah, well, I don't, I mean, we'll call an ambulance. You said and your that husband takes drives. Me. My husband drives, right. but we don't have a car. You drive as well. I can drive, I you don't know. like it. So we yeah. are going to have to Uber or Lyft or get That's a cab. That's a driving lesson. Come on, <laughs> follow me. Okay. <laughs> follow me. Okay. We're going to teach you all how to drive. You too. Come on. You got to grade us. Okay, so you're going to be driving on the road. Okay. Or first, you got to be at nine and three. What does that mean? Uh, have you ever seen a clock with the little pointies on it? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, put put it where the nine would be, and put it where the three would be. Okay. Okay, there you go. You're good. Look, we're driving along. I believe we're in uh, Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the speed limit is 25, so keep okay. that in mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ready. So you're going to be driving, and uh, you got to make sure that you pay attention to the road. There's going to be okay. a lot of distractions going on. Okay. okay? Uh, like maybe uh, coming up, there's a down power wire. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know what that uh, means. Uh, well. You hit it. <laughs> you hit it, and now, boom. Oh. Oh. oh, no. Oh, my god. Oh, this is why I'm not getting my driver's license. Well, this is, this is point. why. I'm sorry? Sorry, you're proving her point. She doesn't feel comfortable. I don't, this is not going to end well who in any scenario. Who the heck are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, who is this person? I just wanted to be involved. Surprise guest, right? Why are there more people than just us in my driving lesson? Because <laughs> it's a simulation. I obviously wouldn't do this out it's on the road. It's not real. Just play along. It's a, we're off the air in 15 minutes. Okay, let's say, <laughs> let's say you want to drive. Okay. Um, all right, so we're driving. Be focused on the road. Eyes okay. ahead. Okay. Nine and three. Oh, awesome. I just still don't know what that means. Okay, well, well do, do one of these, all right? All there right. There we go. And now uh, we're going to be coming up to an intersection. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. <laughs> okay. What you're going to want to do is when you get to the red light, make a left, okay? Okay. So make a, make a left. No, I mean, make a right. 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 Oh, uh, okay, sorry. that was not my fault. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. My okay. fault. We might have killed okay, my someone. Bad. My I didn't bad. Do I think that. we actually did kill. I think we killed someone. someone in this simulation. That was like way more intense than the first one. What? <laughs> okay. Here, let me show you how it's done. Okay. okay. Go for it. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to keep your nine and three. Nine you and three. Be cool and collected. Okay. 
All right. You can't be distracted by anything on the road. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, now I'm gonna see. Uh, we got a, oh, we got a cliff coming up. Okay. <laughs> Why are you a driving teacher? <laughs> Why am I a driving teacher? Wow. Well, I, the the license, the laws in Jersey are very. You know, the I simulation don't think you've is not one hundred percent accurate uh, when you see a clip. Yeah. Bear to the opposite way. Okay. okay. So this this we're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff. All right. We're driving. Okay. We got some people over. We got an old man standing right there. But are you looking at the old man? Now we are. Well, yeah, don't look at the old man. You pointed it out. Don't okay. look at the old man. You see, there's a couple. I think they're about to start smooching. All right. You're allowed to say smooch. I'm allowed to say smooch. <laughs> and you know, it's an important thing. Eyes on the road. Safe sex. Eyes on the road. Oh my god. Why did you? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this necessary? Why did that? What? Why did all of the things go wrong? Everyone's life is ruined. Everything went wrong at the same time. Is this in England? <laughs> No, it's, they're driving on the other side of the UK. You gotta make sure. Why do we have to go to the what? hospital? Oh, her, wow. Why? With look my history you, and whatnot. Look what you did, what? Leon. Half of her body was severed by that. Car. You should first okay. of all not okay. even. Okay, everyone, stop talking. Leon needs a sobriety test. I don't need a. I don't need a sobriety test. I'm cool, calm, and collected. I'm not even gonna talk. Maybe a refresher. I feel like I'm that's try some to do this form of correctly. like a hit and run. Like you yeah. didn't stop. What's a? What's well, a five I'm doing just word fine now. Kraus title. We are you doing killed a lot. Yeah, I feel like that was a big. Oh no! Oh no! Why did you do that? No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Why? Mr. Why? Poop, you are bad at this. Mr. What is the reason? Poop. <laughs> Mr. Poop, you are not good at this. <laughs> Mr. Poo, I'm sorry. Poo. No, Poop is funny. <laughs> That's great. This is a comedy show. That's funny. All right. Maybe the simulation was a little more difficult than I expected. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to actually retroactively pass you for this driving test. Uh, Thank you. You could do that, right? You were gonna, you could do me a solid, yeah, right? Well, we could. Uh, we're gonna need the six uh, six points of ID. Uh, did you take your written? You gotta pass your written test. Do you have your six points with you? What are six points? Well, you're gonna need. You're gonna need. I, so if you have, a, if you already have a driver's license, which uh, you don't, that's four points. You have a passport. Social Security card, birth certificate, uh, maybe a maybe a, a, an army. Are you in the army? Maybe you have I'm an army. I'm not in the army. I'm not in the army. We're not going to be able to give you your license then. No. Okay. Then you got yeah. a good thing with the driving, okay. with the writing, but uh, you know, always yeah. consider some time in the I'll, I'll thank, thank you for that recommendation. All right. Yeah, so they don't need this anymore. Uh, uh, oh, we got a real special guest uh, coming up. Uh, <laughs> like you, Ruby, it's another youngster. Cool. Excited about that? Maybe we'll make yeah. friends. Thank you. Well, um, All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> please welcome our surprise guest. Come on up. Woo! 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 This it's is Shelby Monticello. Hey. I'm like How's Italian. It going? I'm good. I'm, um, I was in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could have met in yeah. the car. We died like a couple times. You didn't actually die because it was a simulation. A lot of people. Yeah. No better and time children. than now. Yeah. We don't know okay. if the children are dead. I feel like if they get assumed, the toppled by a car, no, yeah, no, they're yeah, dead. Can, like, dead. Yeah, they're dead. Well, uh, uh, let's let's lighten the mood. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I like have not written a book, but like I've done lots of cool stuff that is like art. So like, calm down. Um, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I'm an artist too. I run like the only cheer squad in America that I feel te speaks to the teen experience. It's called Okay. Mm um, <laughs> And it's like, we do cheer, cause like, here's the thing, like, you know, like cheering is like an art too, but like, it's like, I don't wanna engage in like cheering for like this like false, like fake, like whatever, like football or whatever, but like I love, like I love words and I also mm -hmm. love gymnastics. So it's like, mm -hmm. that is also an art, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I would say gym, gymnastics is not an art. I would it argue that it, like I am doing art with my, it's like, yeah, when we all get in a pyramid, like what does that say? You know, it says that I like mean, that's monuments <laughs> are artifice. That's what it says. But like with our bodies. Yeah. Oh, what's the, what's the name you. of your cheerleading squad? It's called. Mm, okay. 
<laughs> I just said it. What, what's it called? Mm, okay. It's called mm, okay. That's the name of it. Is that like yeah, SMS like, language? Sure. Like pager talk, but no, it's like it's like because you can say it however, right? It can be like sad, like mm, okay. It can be like wistful, like hmm. Okay. It can I be like hopeful. Like, Ruby, Ruby, can uh, are you I'm following? No, this? I think it makes complete sense. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, I'm, can't wait to read the the spelling issues in this book, right? <laughs> are you using M O O K? What is it? No, in mm, okay. okay. Is mm, okay. Okay. It's like it's like when you're talking to someone and they're like saying something dumb and you're like mm, okay. Yeah. Exactly. Leon, say something. Thank you. Yes. Um. Uh. Uh, I, I love uh, Jeb Bush. He's my favorite politician. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I get it now. Oh, I think. Fun. <laughs> so uh, your your cheerleading squad speaks to the teen experience. How how is that the case? How is it different from other cheer cheer it's squads? Like, it's like okay, I have some cheers. I'll just do some cheers. For, right. It's like you're not gonna get the full effect because like when the whole team is here, it's like a different. Listen, the team is small, but we're growing. It's four people, but by next year, I'm sure it'll be five. Like college <laughs> applications are coming up. Anyway, it's like so like a cheer that I thought of is like give me an H, H. Give me H. an A. 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 Give me a T. 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 Give me an E. 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 What does that spell? H. H. Who do we hate? Ourselves. No. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay. That's negative. Yeah, okay. but it's like, that's how I feel sometimes. What is the deal with this generation? I'm telling you. It's very honest. I, I mean, I suppose it's honest, We're but... We're very in touch with yeah. our feelings. Yeah. Well, are you saying that I am not in touch with my feelings? Well... Well... I don't... Mm, yes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I admitted that my family died in a terrible accident. Yeah. 30 yeah, minutes into the show. Yeah, you can't, like, say oh breasts, so it's like... Mm, what did you okay. have a wife for anyway? Yeah. Well, I I never looked at those. Uh, you never looked at breasts. I, I've I've absolutely seen some. There are some uh, Holocaust films that had some surprising oh, moments in them. Uh, yeah. What? Leon. I didn't expect it in there. Leon, Leon. Yeah. I think we just gotta let's There's just a, leave the a medical channel that I have to click through real fast when oh, I'm trying to boy. get to my different shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I have wow. seen breasts, but I, I, like, I don't whoa. love it. So the family that died was your immediate family, not like your wife and children. No, that was who it was, was my wife and children. Yeah. You Wait, like a wife? How do you have children? Yeah. Doesn't anymore. I <laughs> Did your wife have an affair? Probably. <laughs> That's Did like your a... kids look like Doug, you? Not the time. Not the time. <laughs> were your uh, kids not Italian? Very much, not very much. My, 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 my kids were my kids. I okay. raised them and I fed them and uh, I provided for them and that's all I need to know about well, it. But it wasn't a biological thing. Was it? They were Italian. They. Do you and your wife like sleep in the same bed? We she used to. <laughs> she's oh, yeah, she's I should have laughed. Sorry. That's yeah. so funny. If you were gonna do a cheer, right? Why don't you? Yeah, I have a cheer that actually that's about teen sexuality that uh, I think well, might then, be. Why, why, it well, might why be do relevant. we have to do that actually? Okay. All right. It's okay. No, do your cheer. I will just. Okay. I have it. Okay. Plug up. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. They. Uh, okay. Okay. It's like. Girls like vampires, boys like plastic, teen sexuality, isn't it fantastic? And that's about how teens like often like find, you know, things that aren't real because like having sex is like sometimes too scary, you know? Wow, that's really honest. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yes. Cheerleading can speak to everybody, you know what I mean? What, did Girls I miss any like P's vampires. or V's in there? Girls do like their parts. CW is based on retirement. You know, I actually this. plugged for a About reason. Testicle. But when you go to the doctor, you have to know these words. And I always correct my doctor. I said, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> okay. But like your butt's falling out. Well, by yes. <laughs> no, it's so not you have to out. talk about it's it. It's falling out. I actually, <laughs> yes, I do. Because everybody has a butt. Everybody does. We got have Jamie a butt. in New York. You're on the line with a, a panel of, uh, of vulgarians. We are. Hello. Hi, Jamie. Welcome to the special. I'm Leon Poo Poo UGH. Hello, Mr. Poo Poo. Um, I <laughs> know the answer to that crossword. I heard him say it's the wrong spelling. So the four letter word for good in Grenoble is actually BN. Uh, B is in booby, oh. I is in intimacy, E is in ejaculation, oh. and as in nasty, 
Well, it's a oh, yeah. yeah. that's well, beers and so blowjob. Oh. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Bien. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Like Spanish, but French. Thank you. Uh, do you happen to know? Do you happen to know a three-letter word for a 1950 film noir classic? Three-letter word for a 1950. Hmm. Is this what we've come to? I don't. Know. Not not sure, but I bet it's something real sexy. Those film noir movies sure were hot. Oh. Yeah. Really? The 1950s? I, they, you did. Know. they did. They did. Yeah. These are great films. I've had sex for years. Have so, you ever been to Italy? Uh, no. Pompeii is like covered in stuff that you wouldn't want to see. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad I haven't been there. I actually haven't really left uh, the continental United States. I've been to Spain. Well, good for you. Thank you. Why don't you do another cheer? Okay. Yeah. Here's one. It's about. It's about. Um, okay. Uh, they say that being a gay teen is easier, but old men still get sleazier and sleazier. And that's about how even young men are subject to predatory behavior. That's true. Well, not, yeah. not all These are like old PSAs. men. These, yeah. 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 I feel like I always have to say not all old men in conversation yeah. more often than I'd like to. He's got a point. <laughs> Most men are bad. I have a sad dad. That's a cheer I just made up that's about you. <laughs> Is that from the ghost of my child? Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I mean, knocked you that seem, one out of the park, Nolan. You seem like you'll be a stepdad Nolan. someday. Well, thank you. Yeah, you have a real stepdad vibe. I aspire to that, actually. Like a mom's boyfriend vibe. Yeah. More. You'd yeah. have to kiss that mom, though. Yeah. You know what? It's about time <laughs> we do the poo. Are you guys ready to do the poo? Yeah. All right. Do the poo. Why don't you stand up and follow do? my lead? Okay. And if you don't have to participate. I'm I know fine. you're carrying uh, more than one. All right. She had sex. Let's hit it. In my vagina. Let's hit this song. It's a step touch. Now, if y'all want to know how to do the poo, just let old Leon tell you what to do. Pop a squat and stick out your butt. You'll be dancing all night. I tell you what. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Shake it. There we go. Let's see if you can spin. You're going to want to plant your hands. There we go. You girls can do this at the, uh, the teen night club. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do some more. Scoot your rear closer to the floor. Reach up high and pull that lever. Your wife and kids are going to live forever. Wow. Yeah, pull that lever. Wow. Ride that train. Come on. Let's see if you can combine them. Spin. Yeah. Pull the lever. Let me see you poo. Okay. Everybody, let me see you poo. To the poo. Yeah. Oh, high fives all around. We did it. We did it. Wow, you yeah. Really poo. Oh, my goodness. Seth, you didn't participate? No, I want to go. Mm. Well, we had a long drive back to Edison. Warm up the car. <laughs> Um, uh, do, does anyone uh, want to plug? You, you got some shows coming up, right? Yes, I do. I have a show tomorrow night at uh, 11 at Rockwood, a show on uh, at 3 o'clock on Friday at the Public Hotel, and then uh, every, the second Monday of every month, I have a show at UCB East Ooh, called nice. Theopia Fun. Oh. And my book, Earth that? Hates Me, which is in Barnes & Nobles and bookstores everywhere. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you can get your book. Yes. Dangerous, um, dangerous boobies. And I have a last mod show, the best of show on the 13th. And then I have Brutally Honest, which is the fourth, the fourth Tuesday of every month at QED in Astoria. All right. Woo. You got like a what a Twitter or something for your? Um, I'm often at Cranford High School doing cheers, just like hanging yeah. out. And um, I don't have a date to prom. And also, I'm applying to like several colleges, so uh, that's cool. Mm, if you need a recommendation <laughs> letter, uh... I won't ask you. All right. Uh, thank you for coming. Leon, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I get it. Let let's me wrap go. up the show. Leon, let me wrap up the show. Let's go. Let's wave goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Let's go.
We have to let the rest of the credits roll. <laughs> Can we go? They do it on that late night comedy show. What's the uh, UCB people? It's a. Uh, there's a lot of late night comedy shows. SNL, yeah. SNL. I don't watch it. <laughs> You're embarrassing. <laughs> I hope you have sex one day. I hope for you, you Your parents have had to have sex to have you. You came out uh, of a funny vagina. funny story was uh, they did not. <laughs> okay. 